You made it. You're in Paris. But unfortunately, you only have very little time to visit the city. You are in between two trains, or in transit at Roissy Charles de Gaulle, or you're just in Paris for half a day. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Paris and see 15 major sites in just under 3 hours. In this video, I will provide you with all the elements and practical details, maps, directions, to carry on this journey without any stress. 3 hours is from Gare du Nord to Gare du Nord. From Roissy Charles de Gaulle, it will take you an hour and a half to 2 hours more. The last section of this video will show you that. In the station, follow the signs for the metro, a big capital M, to these ticket machines. Just select English, no you don't have a Navigo pass, and then click on Mobilis one day. In this video, I selected zones 1 to 5, including Charles de Gaulle Airport. But if you do the loop from Gare du Nord, zones 1 and 2, at €8.50, will be enough for unlimited travel on all the transport means we will use today. Let's go for our first metro ride on Line 4. It's noon when we start our journey. On Line 4, we will get off at the next stop, Barbès Rochechoir, to then take Line 2, again to get off one station further in Anvers. Follow the signs to Port Dauphine on Line 2. And at Anvers, it's very easy, there's only one exit. This street is full of tourist shops. Too bad we don't have time to stop there. We can already see our destination, the Basilique du Sacré-Cœur, or, in English, Basilica of the Sacred Heart. Let's get to the lower station of the Montmartre Funicular. With your mobilis ticket, there's no need to queue. Imagine the time saved in summer. If you prefer, you can take the stairs right next to the funicular. After all, there are only 222 steps. Here is the Sacred Heart, the first must-see site on our journey. From here, the view of Paris is wonderful. Love padlocks. You will see them everywhere in Paris, rusting on a spot. From here, we are only a few dozen meters from the famous Place du Tertre on Montmartre. I recorded this video on a weekday, in the middle of winter. Imagine the crowd gathered here on a beautiful summer day. Some of the artists found here are really talented. Here was born the word bistro. A little further down the street is the famous Maison Rose, or Pink House of Montmartre. From here, we will take bus 40, the only one that can squeeze through the small streets of Montmartre with its small size. We will get off at the Abbesse stop. Jogging on the cobbled streets of this hill, it offers very pretty views of the stairs or the street art. The entrance to the Abbesse Metro, which opens onto the square of the same name, is adorned with a magnificent Art Deco canopy from the beginning of the 20th century. From there, we are only two steps away from the fourth site that we will see today, the wall of Je t'aime or I love you. I Love You is written here in 250 different languages on enameled lava.
Let's continue our walk down to the Moulin Rouge. If you've seen the movie Amélie, this is where she works. We are now out of Montmartre and we can continue our journey taking the metro again. But before that, don't miss the famous Moulin Rouge Cabaret, with its red windmill, which is the exact translation of Moulin Rouge. Let's take Meadow Line 2 again, towards Port Dauphine. We've started our journey 50 minutes ago, and we've already seen five of our 15 must-sees of the day. We will stop at Charles de Gaulle Etoile. Make sure to exit at Avenue de Friedland. We will circle around the Arc de Triomphe, allowing us to admire it from different angles. The Arc de Triomphe was built to commemorate Napoleon's victories. The most famous avenue leading to the Arc de Triomphe is the Champs-Élysées. Nearly two kilometers long, the Avenue des Champs-Élysées is often said to be the most beautiful avenue in the world. I don't know if it's true, but it's a nice one, especially in winter when it's all lit up. Goodbye, Arc de Triomphe. Let's take the metro again. This time on line 6, and we will leave it at Trocadero. Dating from the early 70s, the line 6 trains are currently the oldest in circulation in Paris. I'm sure you know which exit we will take this time. Here it is. The Queen of Paris, the Iron Lady, the Eiffel Tower. The Esplanade du Trocadero offers the best view on it. Let's get a little closer to her. And now, let's go to the closest transport station to the tower and take the RERC at Champ de Mars Tour Eiffel station. We'll only board the train for a very short journey, as we will exit at Invalide after two stops. These RERC cars have two floors and plenty of room. This is normally a commuter train, but also the easiest way to get to Versailles. When you've arrived at Invalide, exit at Rue Esno Pelletery. How lucky we are, or maybe not. This is a demonstration, the quintessence of French social culture. The best view of the Invalid, you will have it from the middle of the boulevard which cuts the Esplanade in two. From there you can make a great picture. And if you turn around, this is where we are going now, the Alexandre III Bridge. This bridge is certainly the most beautiful of the 37 bridges that cross the Seine in Paris.
Let's go back to the Invalide station, but to take the metro this time. On line 8, take the direction of Créteil. We will get off at Opéra. The Opéra Garnier is one of the most beautiful monuments in Paris. I'm very happy to be able to pass there on our way, but wait, what happened to the opera? This is what the Opera Garnier really looks like. Unfortunately, these scaffoldings will be there until the end of 2024. Well, anyway, let's take an alternative picture. Let's go back underground towards our next destination. We'll take line 7 this time to Palais Royal Musée du Louvre. What I love about the Paris Metro is sometimes you can hear very good music in it. We're not going to the Louvre yet. Take exit 5 to Place Colette. Called the Night Hall Kiosk, this is the most original metro entrance in Paris. We're heading to the courtyard of the Palais Royal. This is where we find the famous Colonne de Buren, Buren Columns. 260 truncated columns of white marble with white and black stripes. Now it's time to go to the Louvre. Wait, there's another demonstration. Paris loves demonstrations. Let's go to this passage to the main courtyard of the Louvre. There she is, the Pyramid of the Louvre. Six hundred and seventy-three diamonds and glass triangles. That's worth a picture, isn't it? Now let's walk to the Pont des Arts. The Cour Carré, Square Court, is the second main courtyard of the Louvre Palace. This passage leads to the Seine River on the Pont des Arts. Scam alert! Never speak to these young women offering to sign a petition. And what your belongings to? Across the Seine is the Institut de France, and to get there, the Pont des Arts.
For me, this is the bridge that offers the most beautiful view of Paris, especially on this side, with the Pont Neuf and the island of La Cité. Scam alert, you never win at this kind of three card trick. The only ones who seem to win are in fact accomplices of the Barker. Let's go and take the metro at Station Pont Neuf. The Pont Neuf, despite its name, which means New Bridge, is actually the oldest bridge in Paris, built in 1600. Line 7 again, just for one stop, to Châtelet. In Châtelet, take exit 19, Rue Saint-Martin. This is the Mairie de Paris, the City Town Hall. We are approaching the end of our journey. Let's walk to Notre Dame now. There is a lot of work all around the cathedral. Normally, it should be completely rebuilt by the end of 2024. And there you go, 15 of the most beautiful sites and landmarks in Paris. All that remains is for us to return to the Gare du Nord or to the Charles de Gaulle airport. At Saint Michel station, take Metro Line 4 to get to Gare du Nord, or Ariel Line B to the airport. Yes, we made it to Gare du Nord in less than three hours. Et voilà. It's over for those who started at Gare du Nord. But for those living from the airport, here are some additional information. From one of the terminals 2, A, B, C, D, E, F and G, go to the TGV RER station. And there, go to the left luggage to leave your luggage while you are in Paris. Then, follow the RERB signs Go down the two escalators and look for the ticket vending machines. There you select English, buy other cardboard tickets. Next, next again and select Mobilis tickets. Select zones 1 to 5 for 20 euro and 10 cents. This will allow you unlimited travel in the Paris region for the whole day. Look out for this Paris sign and go to platform 11 or 12. Just insert the ticket inside the machine. And there you go. Just board the next train going to Paris. Sit down, relax, enjoy the view, and you'll be 
in Gare du Nord in 35 to 45 minutes. In Gare du Nord, follow the signs for the line 4 of the metro and then you can start the journey we've just explained in this video. And when you finish visiting the 15 landmarks, look at RERB to Airport CDG. Now get your luggage back and you'll soon be on your next flight full of wonderful images of Paris. I really hope you liked this video. If so, please press the like button and consider subscribing to see more videos from myself.